Hi there, John Libinati with GlutenFreeWorks.com. Today we're going to be talking about the celiac disease blood tests and are they pass-fail? And if they're not pass-fail, then what do they test? First of all, the celiac disease blood tests are not pass-fail. So we can just get rid of that right away. And if anybody ever tells you that they are pass-fail, that um, you know, you tested negative and now you never need to be tested again even though you exhibit symptoms, well they're absolutely and completely wrong. So if you go to the doctors and you come back and your test is negative and he says you don't have it and just dismisses it, well get yourself another doctor because we see people who have the negative uh, result on a blood test one day and three months later they can be off the charts positive. And this is why. The celiac disease blood tests test antibody levels, okay? So they test antibody levels for gliadin, which is the gluten found in wheat, and also for tissue transglutaminase, which is an autoimmune um, uh, antibody, okay? So that's when your body's putting out these antibodies and they're attacking at the lining of the small intestine, that's tissue transglutaminase. Now, if these levels are rising, okay, then you're having a reaction. If you're having a reaction, then something is causing it. In the case of gliadin, it's gluten. In the case of tissue transglutaminase, it's an autoimmune uh, response. What do the tests look for? Well, they're on a, on a scale. If you're at a certain, at or above a certain level, if your antibodies, all right, these are the antibodies, if they're at or above a certain level, let's say 20, then the test assumes that when a doctor does an endoscopy for the biopsy, they will find signs of villus atrophy. They will find signs of a lesion in your gut that is characteristic of celiac disease. So if you're at 19, all right, or you're at 12, they're going to say negative. If you're above 20, and the numbers can change. But if you're above this line right here, they're going to say you're positive. But say you're negative today, okay, at, at 12, and in six months you're at 1,500. And we've seen this before. We've seen people where your body's producing some antibodies, and then six months later it's producing an enormous number of antibodies. So the celiac disease blood tests basically tell the doctor how likely they will find villus atrophy okay and that's when you do the biopsy with the endoscopy All right, so they're telling you how likely you're going to find villus atrophy when you do an endoscopy or biopsy. And, and then, of course, it also tells you whether or not you're producing these antibodies. Um, long story short, it's not pass-fail, as you can see. Um, and if you do find that your tests are negative, you should be tested again if you keep exhibiting symptoms. So this is how the celiac disease blood tests work. I'll talk about the individual celiac disease blood tests what they are, the names, how they function, uh, what they're looking for in another video. But basically, they're not pass-fail, okay? So don't consider that in the future. Uh, and if anybody tells you that they are pass-fail, then they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, they tell you how or whether you are producing antibodies. And if they're above a certain amount, how likely you will find villus atrophy with an endoscopy with biopsy. Once again, I'm John Libinati from GlutenFreeWorks.com. Thank you. This is John Libinati with GlutenFreeWorks.com. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe below and share us on Facebook. Then visit GlutenFreeWorks.com where we have tons of information, recipes, and tips that will help you get well and stay healthy living gluten-free. If you want to take control of your health, visit our new GlutenFreeWorks health guide at GlutenFreeWorks.com health where we use medical research from around the world to give you step-by-step -step instructions to quickly identify and fix hundreds of symptoms caused by gluten and nutrient deficiencies. 
Click here to learn more and click here to get access now.